Hello, I'm Michael Weir, and this is the Best of Basel World Roundup for Sunday. Now, a bit of bad news. Unfortunately, the well-known What You Seek senior editor, Barney Chopra, cannot be with us tonight. But there is some good news. His brother, Manu, twin brother, flown all the way in from Texas to be with us tonight to talk about watches. And on my left, another guest. I think you've met him before. His name is Scott, with an unpronounceable surname. He is also going to talk about his favorite watches. But let us begin with Manu. Now, Manu, if it wasn't for the fact that you're wearing glasses, I would have sworn that you're Banu. But we're very grateful for you for flying in tonight to reveal Banu's favorite choice of watch for Sunday. So could you now please let the audience know what his choice is? Hello, my name is Manu. I read... I read statement now. Bulgari Octophonismo Auto best watch for today. It is 40 millimeters, 5.1 millimeters thin, very thin. It has sunblasted titanium case, micro rotor, 60 hour power reserve, and how much? It is 11,900 Swiss francs only. Best watch. Buy it now. Now, we also have with us Scott. Scott was with us last night. He's also from Texas. He can't help it. But he's here to tell us what his choice is for today from Baselworld. Scott, what is your choice? So my favorite watch was the Christian van der Klau Planetarium. It is the smallest mechanical planetarium in the world. It's amazing. But the thing that I learned today that's really unique about it is you know, people have a hard time setting perpetual calendars. So this watch is an annual calendar as well. And there's a pusher on the side so that if you do get the planets out of alignment because the watch has wound down, you push the pusher, one push for each day, and you get the day, date, month, everything set up, and then your planets will be in alignment. So uh, stunning, stunning watch. And you have the, the planets on your wrist. So that's the Christian van der Klau planetarium. Well, that's all from us tonight. Join us tomorrow when we have another roundup of the best of Basel World watches. Good night.